Hello, my name is Anna Breton and I'm a product engineer on the ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud team. Today, I'll be discussing new features in our 2.2 release of our Maps for Adobe extension. Specifically, I'll be focusing on our new Spatial AIX feature. This new feature has been highly requested since our Pro AIX integration, and it allows our users to add more data to a file exported out of ArcGIS Pro using the extension's capabilities. To start things off, I'm going to log into the Maps for Adobe extension. To do this, I'm going to go to Window, Extensions, and select the ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud option. Once our login window pops up, I'm going to select the ArcGIS Online option and sign in. Once we're all signed in, I'm going to go ahead and pop into ArcGIS Pro so we can export an AIX file and bring it into Illustrator. So here we are in ArcGIS Pro, and I have a layout with a map frame and a few other layout elements. And I'm gonna go ahead and export this file as an AIX file. To do this, I'm gonna go to Share, Export Layout, and make sure my file type is the AIX or Adobe Illustrator Exchange file type. And all I'm gonna do is click Export. And once our file is exported, that is all we have to do in ArcGIS Pro. So we're gonna hop back into Illustrator. And we're gonna go ahead and open up that AIX file that we just exported. So we're gonna go File, Open, and search for that file. And once our file processes, we can see it looks exactly the same as our Pro export. And if we take a look at our layers, they're all nice and organized and labeled here. So we're going to pull up the map board window first. And you can see a map board has been created to the same exact extent as our pro exported file. So it's an extent that covers the entire Earth. And if we look at our compilation window, we're going to have to go and select a vector base map. And this is because the map that we exported had a projection on it. Uh, and so we need a vector base map in order to project that properly in the compilation window. And if we actually look in our map settings up here, we can see that the projection I used is the world times projection. Now, just a quick note, although the map board shows that our map isn't projected, any data that we add uh, or new maps that we add will be projected on the fly um, and they'll be projected properly in the compilation window and once we download. So just something to keep in mind. That's why there is a difference in how the maps look in these two windows. So we're going to stay in the compilation window now and we're going to go ahead and add some data. So I'm going to go to add content and add a couple of points. My first point is a point of New York. My second is going to be a point for Ireland. And I'm just going to go and change the style a little bit so we can see these points a little bit better. And then I'm going to go ahead and visualize a route. And I'm going to create a route from Ireland to New York uh, and just keep it as a line distance route. So I'm going to click Apply, and it's going to generate that new line feature for me. And there it is. We can see it in our compilation window. We're just going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to add one more layer. I'm going to go to my favorites and add this world time zones layer. You can see it in the compilation window here, and I'm just going to rearrange my layers a bit so we can see all of them better. And then change the style of my world time zones layer because we need more color and some transparency as well. Then I'm also going to add some labels to my world time zones layer. I'm going to add their zone values in here, change the color, 
and click OK. Now before I sync, I'm also just going to turn off this vector street map because I do not want to sync that to my file. And here we have it, and I'm just going to go ahead and click sync. And there we go, everything has synced to our file, so let's take a look. We can see that our point data of New York and Ireland have been added, our line data as well, all of our polygons for our time zones and their labels were added, and they're all in our layers here as well, labeled and ready for you to design with. So now I'm going to go and show one more example. So we're going to go back into ArcGIS Pro, and I'm going to show you a different layout. So here we have a layout that contains two different map frames. We have one over here, our main map frame uh, that kind of centralizes in Europe. And then we also have this smaller inset map um, showing the entire Earth. So I'm going to go ahead and export this as an AIX file type again. And I'm going to do the same process as our last export and open it in Illustrator. All right, so here we have our second layout uh, with the two map frames in it. So let's take a look at our map boards window again. Now this time we can see that there are two different map boards that have been created. And each of these map boards represent the different map frames from our ArcGIS file. So we can toggle between these two map frames And as you can see, we have our first one over here, again, that was centered in Europe. And then our second one, which was the inset map that covers the entire Earth. We're going to select the map frame we want to focus on and then switch to our compilation window. And again, we're going to select a vector base map. This time I'm going to use natural Earth. And here we have our base map to use as a reference point. So I'm going to add content to my compilation window. And this time I'm going to add world regions. And that's the only layer that I want to sync. So I'm going to turn off my base map and sync that world regions layer. And once it's synced, let's just take a look at our file here. And you can see that world regions layer was added to our file. We're going to hop back into our map boards window, select our second map frame, which was the extent of the entire world. Jump into the compilation window and add one more point. In our places, I'm going to add a Europe point. There it is, and I'm going to sync that to my file. And here we can see our point was added to our inset map, and our data was added to our layers over here, all organized and labeled. And that is a basic overview of our new Spatial AIX feature. We hope you enjoy the latest release, and thanks for watching.